it's your boy Kenji Man, and I'm back with another video. Let's get into this topic, bro. The next arc. The next arc. We see, you know, some people probably can't see it because they refuse to see it because they don't want to look up real history. They don't care about it. They like, that won't spoil the show for me because I, whatever, bro. That's you. But for real Kingdom fans, who love Chinese history, who love history, period, you pretty much know what's about to happen. All right? You pretty much know what's about to happen. If you don't know what's about to happen, then you are a goofy. Raboku is going to lose this war against Quinn. It's only inevitable. He has no allies. Like, come on, think about it, think about it. Even if you didn't know what's going to happen, come on, bro. He has no allies. What, what, Yon? They just tried to attack Saka. Are oh, you talking about Wei? The people that just made a deal with us? Oh, Queen? The people that sent ooh to us with enjoy. And when we was conquering them. So understand. All of these Chew? Chew, we just we just double teamed them too. Alright? Took Juco Castle. Alright? It's not looking good, Roboku. And now, Roboku. We finally realize the re we finally realize that you have two princes that can potentially be the king. Right? Now, you are in a civil war and an invasion. Mm. People, let me say it again. Roboku is in a civil war and an invasion. You got to be Jesus. Christ himself to get yourself out of this situation. So, I don't know. Who think we're both going to win this battle between Quinn is a goddamn goofy. Even if you don't know what's going to happen. It's written all over the wall. So, <clears throat> we're going to focus on the treaty between Wei and my boy Ohan who we haven't seen since Ikiyu, because I'm telling you, man, Ohan has been sacrificing his Gyoko Hoi this whole campaign into Quinn. They have been getting annihilated every freaking time. And Ohan has been risking himself. Now, where do you think Ohan is going to go next? We haven't seen, we know Ohan is on, he's somewhere in Zao. Holding it down on the front front lines, allowing his men to regain their strength. Because a lot of them got killed at Ikiyu. You will never see their faces again. Even though, one thing I noticed, with the Gyoko Ahoy, there's pretty much three, four, five people that you really see that has the potential of being a, a commander, right? Uh, and that's, uh, what's his name? A Akakin. And Kanjo, and both of them, understand, both of them came from the Ozen army and strengthened the Gyoko Oi. So remember, Akaka and Kanjo, they down. Now, the treaty. I don't know how many years left that we have until the treaty is done, but I'm assuming they're going to break it before it, even happen, before it comes near, right? Because they can see the writing on the wall with Ruboku. Go home, man. Remember what Gohome said? Y'all are not going to defeat Roboku. I'm thinking like, bro, I don't give a damn how smart you are, how capable you are, how strong you are. If you do not have allies <laughs> during an invasion and you're having a civil war in the capital, Gohome probably don't know about that, then you are not going to win. You can only defend until... Your rivals in the capital kill your motherfucking ass after you did, did all the dirty work. Remember, Roboku? You do all the dirty work for the mix, huh? Yeah. You the you they bitch. They like, go over there and fight that. Go over there and fight this. And I'm thinking like, bro, if you would have just killed Kakuki, Prime Minister Kakuki, and killed the little prince, right? And just, just took over. Instead of coming up with a plan to attack us and jump us, coalition war. Now, 
the next arc should be focused on Ohan. It's going to have to focus on Ohan. Um, Ohan, we have yet to see Ohan's taking over anything. We seen him kill Roshi, Yoon, but is that's been that's two, that's just two peeps, two people that he slayed. You know the people that that, that Shin slayed? Yeah, you can't even count them. But here's my point. Ohan, if you look up his name. Uh, Wang, no, no, no. I forgot his Japanese version, but if you look up Ohan's real name, the the, uh, the Chinese version or whatever, you're going to realize that Ohan is known for taking out Wei. That's one of his major feats. The first thing you see on any page of historical, whatever you want to go. You could go to Wikipedia, you could go... You could go to uh, Axe Who. I don't even go to that dude no more. Axe Jeeves. I don't know what that is. Axe.com. Any historical evidence is going to let you know that Ohan is known for taking out Wei. His primary victory. Right? His win, he took over basically what Wang did. Uh, Wang Ben Greatest Feet. Taking down the Wei capital, Daryu. All right, that's the same capital you've been seeing go home and go over and talk to his king about joining the Quinn into taking out Juco. Now, remember this. I might have to show a map because the maps be changing. Y'all know the maps be changing. So let me see. I should be able to put it up. Now, this is a map of what happened. Like, this is the map right before. They attack Juco. And if you can see at the bottom, all Wei has to do, right, is take Juco and they pretty much surround him. They pretty much got Chu. Chu can no longer help Han, basically, what I'm saying. They cannot stop the invasion of Han. Wei is going to take them out. You've seen all that, guys. They got Renbi Haku, Jun A, Bakai. Ryu Han, all of them, you know what I'm saying? Wei got some soldiers. It's a small country, but they got some soldiers. They not playing, right? So here's a map of what happened afterwards, right? Let me see this map. I'm a video editor. I'm going to drop all this stuff. So basically, we see it right here that Juku has been conquered by Wei. Uh, once, you know, when we seen Quinn and Wei Alliance, they went over there, took Juco. Now, see the arrows. They're going to be pushing up on the Han from the south. And just think about this, y'all. We only ever seen one general that came from Han. And that was that dude that was shooting poison darts and poison bombs and poison this all over the place, right? And so, my point is, once Wei takes Han completely, this is when Ohan is supposed to have, see, it's not just going to be Ohan going straight into Wei, but Ohan, before he goes into Wei, Ohan takes over 10 cities in Chu so he can stop them from coming. Because if you look at the map, <clears throat> even though Juko is probably a, a well-defended city, you got to understand, Kyren and all of them down there, they, remember what Carmen told old boy that took over um, the Chu um, country, right? She th she told him, go, you know, go defend the borders, support the borders. Remember, there's going to be a large contingent army on the Chu border of Wei because they're going to be wanting to fight them, all right? So this is when, so let me change it up because I just thought about this. It would be better for Go Home Man to attack simultaneously with Ohan as Ohan attack the two, two lines that are probably coming from behind. And then they can hold a base. They can hold a foothold right there while defending Chu, pushing them back. 
And then when all the dust clears and Wei finally gets deep into Han, that's when we attack they motherfucking ass. All right? We attack they motherfucking ass. It's, but it's going to have to be perfect. This is why I say the Ohan campaign is really going to show his real skill. Because late, I know if you were to compare all three, basically Ohan, um, damn, Shin, and um, <laughs> why am I fart, brain farting right now? Molten, okay, all those moles, but you know what I mean. Molten, you will see probably Ohan, probably being um, the least achieving person on there. Least achieving person on that, right? But I think it's time. This is where we're going to see Ohan shine the most. And it's going to be an Ohan versus Gohome. It's been written, right? How do I know? Remember when Ohan and Gohome were fighting? When they first met on the Battle of Choyo. Remember? That was Ohan's plan. A three-pronged attack. Ohan's plan. To attack Gohome, and if if he didn't have that body body double, and he didn't have old boy get killed in replace of him, Ray U, I think his master, he would have been killed by the plan of Ohan. So Ohan, you have unfinished work. You should have been the one to kill Gohome, and if Gohome would have died, we would have just broke up apart. They wouldn't have no who who is going to take over after go home, man. Come on now. They don't got that many generals that can lead the whole army like he can. So that's that's one my whole point. But this whole arc is gonna end with Ohan doing basically flooding the city. He's gonna make the he's gonna put a dam in the Yellow River. The water's gonna flood. Daru is a big city. It's like probably as big, big probably probably bigger than uh Joy, right? With and they described it. I remember reading it. They described the city and they described how the uh it was uh basically they had water all around the city and it was wide, wide ditches of water, and they had and there was no way for him to get across the water. <laughs> I mean, they could try, but it was like the water's too far, bro. It was it was, it was worse than joy, like I said. So, but he eventually does it, and this is how he takes over away. But if you think I'm spoiling it, um, I might be wrong, people. Like I tell people all the time, I might be wrong. I, I'm wrong about my predictions. Hard knows we we reading history, so I might be wrong. I might not be, but I know. That it's time for Ohan to do his motherfucking thug dizzle, right? And then after that, we probably we're gonna see Ohan's next move. He's gonna be in Yarn. And then he's gonna help Shin take over Kui. So <clears throat> I can't wait to see that. I can't wait to see Go Home versus Ohan. It was always written, it was always written up that way. It's like hard nose. Come on, y'all, think about this. And I can't wait to do the next video and prove my point. Hara likes to foreshadow all the time. You don't know what foreshadow means? It's like it's like trying to um, it's like putting a hint out there that says, here's I'll give you a better example. Remember, like I said, the, the foreshadowing was Ohan versus Gohome during that battle, even though To was the real leader of the army. It was actually Ohan's plan. That's foreshadowing for the fact that Ohan is going to be the one to kill Gohome, probably not, and take the capital. That's foreshadowing, people. I could have just read the definition on Google, but it's too easy. But other than that, that's a wrap. Um, going to come in with two more videos that I want to do. It's going to be... We're going to be talking about Yon, and we're also going to be talking about the two princes of Zao. I'll mention that a little bit in this chapter, but I really want to break that down to the fullest. So it's your boy, Kenji. Subscribe, comment, like, share.
Do all the bizzle. I'm out.